video without bathing so I could get out here in time for the sunrise and you can see it's rising right over there and um, to jump into astrology I'm in my mercury dasha and that's my third and sixth lord and the sixth lord rules disease deaths or you could say low money or having money problems and disease is disease now I have mercury in the second house which is this part of the body this is the first this is the second and I've been in mercury dasha uh, maybe five years a few years it's a 17 year long dasha so it's quite long and um, lo and behold, in this dasha, I have developed a skin disease in this area. I don't know whether it's folliculitis or porphyria. It has some of both. But um, the problem, the point is, it's a disease, and it hurts, and it's a bummer. Um, red spots—they're not pimples. They they're different. I won't go into it. Um, right on time. All my life, perfect there. No problems. Now, boom. Checking the lens. See if it's clean. Looks clean enough, I guess. Um, you see how good that works? Now, take another example. When I was 12, I entered Jupiter Dasha, and that lasted until I was, uh, what, 26, no, 10 to 26, 10 to 26 years old, and in that time, I joined the Catholic monastery on the weekends for high schoolers, and then I joined the Hare Krishna movement, traveled around the world, and met holy men, and I have Jupiter in the ninth in its own sign, which should do that. It should give you extreme religion. If it's in its own sign in the ninth, exactly aspecting the ascendant, which mine is, it should give you strong religious tendencies. And man, did I have them ever since birth. I was always religious as a little kid. So in Jupiter Dasha, I was very religious. And I lived in ashrams and met gurus and read scriptures of the world. Is that an accident? None of my brothers did it. They don't have that Jupiter. I'm one of 11 kids. They all thought I was over the top with my religious tendencies. And there's the sun rising like they say Jesus rose on the third day. This is that third day for their celebrations, Christian celebrations. <laughs> Anyway, um, so when Jupiter Dasha ended was when my daughter got burned. My daughter was burned, and it made me think internally that I have to be a better father. I need to take care of my kids better. And um, I was living in temples until then, from age 19 until the start of Saturn Dasha, end of Jupiter Dasha. It was around when I was 25, 26, that it changed. And at that time, I found myself sort of forced by circumstances, lo and behold. In other words, life followed the dashas. I was forced by uh, some real intense, heavy things to think about, like a burned daughter. She got scalded in a Hare Krishna household, and I, I took it as my fault and their fault. And I took it that we Hare Krishnas um, don't take good care of our children. It's just something I felt. I was so hurt by it. 
And um, so I decided that I need to be a better father. And to me, that meant get a job, get a house, and allow my wife and kids to live there, and they won't be around all this activity that's going on in the movement. So we moved out of the temples. I got a job, and that went on for a very long time. Saturn is a 20-year dasha, and or 19, so let's say 20. So it released me, you know, finally in 2005 to Mercury dasha, at which time I could no longer work. <laughs> now, Saturn is the lord of my 10th and 11th, being as I'm Aries rising. That means it rules over my career and gains and friends and other things in the 11th house, but 10th house career, 11th house gains. And mine is in the 9th. My Saturn is in the 9th with Jupiter. Now, when you have the 10th Lord in the 9th with the 9th Lord, that's one formation of Karma, Dharma, Adipati, Yoga. And because I'm Aries rising, I have Libra in the 7th, which means the other in my life is always the freeway because Libra rules the roads, you know. So I'm always by a road. <laughs> Anywho... Um, in 1985, Jupiter ended and Saturn began, and bam, I was out of the temples and into the workforce. And because it's with Jupiter, I wanted to have a religious career like I had. I was in the temples. I had a religious career. But now I'm out. Well, at first I had to work jobs, actually for... Eight years, I programmed, I taught myself programming right away, and then I worked making accounting software for many businesses, one after another, clients, and then two big ones, Newspaper Industry of America and the Yellow Page Industry of America, um, I did those, big databases, multi-user, accounting-oriented, sales, all that. Then in 93, I got into Jyotish programming and continued with that, and that is still my present uh, business, although I don't um, do that much on it like I used to. I used to program on it 18 hours a day, saw it every day for seven years at first. It was insane. But see, that was in my Saturn dasha, my work dasha, and it's in the ninth with Jupiter, which means my work was affected by my religion, indeed. Even this, this is my work now, and this is affected by religion. Because I have karma, dharma, adi, pati, yoga. That means work, duty, lords of, together. Karma, dharma, adi, pati, the first lord, the lords of, yoga together, linked. So karma, dharma, adipati yoga is a sought after yoga. It's a good one. It means you'll have, um, you know, a blessed career, a lucky career, a holy career, possibly, but at least it'll be somewhat lucky. I know, for example, Deepak Chopra has this same yoga, but he has it in the 10th. I have it in the 9th. So he's more business oriented career-oriented, and I'm more religion-oriented. And we've met, and that is true. That is very true of the two of us. Um, so during Saturn and Jupiter, I was in my ninth house from 10 years old until, what, around... Uh, around 44, 45 years old. From 10 years old till 45 years old, I was in Sa Jupiter, then Saturn Dasha. And in those Dashas, I was, that's both ninth house. So, 
Ninth House is the house of religion and luck, long distance travels, and I did all those things. All my traveling was done in that period, and I've traveled all over the world. Interestingly, in Jupiter, I traveled far. He's the Lord of the Ninth. I went to India and Asia. But in Saturn Dasha, no. I traveled all over the U.S. doing business because he's the Lord of my career. But he's in the Ninth, long distance travel, but he didn't take me as far as Jupiter, right? Now, both of those are in a trine, the Ninth. And the Dasha before Jupiter is Rahu. And that's what I began life in, Rahu Dasha. My moon is in a Rahu ruled nakshatra, which means that I began life in Rahu Dasha. That's how it starts. Your Dasha starts according to the Lord of the star in which your moon resides. There are 27 stars around the zodiac about two and a half per sign. Satabhishaka is in a kumba, Aquarius, kumba, the water jug. And I began life with that, with 10 years of Rahu, and it was hard. I was an Asperger kid, undiagnosed, and it was hard. I was always feeling very outside and teacher used to have to snap her fingers in my face to wake up because I was all in class, spacing out on autism. But I was doing really good. In third grade, I tested genius in math. So it wasn't a killer, but it spaced me out, and it made life weird, and I was born a bit deformed. So... In Mercury Dasha, which began, let's just say around 2004 or 5, I was 44, 45, and very famously depressed, as I still am known, although I'm working on it. And with this Easter Sunday, and um, supposedly Jesus rose 2013 years ago from the dead, or some strong guys rolled the rock aside and took him off to India. Who knows? Anyway... I'm going to try to rise today. Why not? Usually I'm crying right now. I, I wake up and I cry. I, but last night a friend said to me that I should do my work as a proletariat, as one of the plem, <laughs> as one of the people. I should lose the holiness and just be a person. And I think that's the key because I'm not perfect. I have some unorthos, that means unwanted habits, or unnecessary habits in terms of total purity. Total bodily, mental, physical, all types of purity in life, very rare. Some people can do it. You have to be born to do it. Um, bashing yourself on the head out of guilt is really painful, and I've been doing that for many years. I was trained in high Brahminical ways. Um, you could say Smarta and Bengali Vaishnava. Either way, both ways. Very strict. No drugs, no alcohol, no cigarettes, no looking at women. Just serve Krishna all the time. Go back to Godhead. Live your life pure and go back to Godhead. So it's really... Um, not what Americans are used to with, you know, movies, candy, popcorn, alcohol, cigarettes, lust. You know, white man's used to a very rich diet of anarthas. I think I'm going to turn the camera now, maybe. I don't know. What's it doing? It's, I don't know if you can see me or just light on the side of my head. I guess I'll leave it. But, um, so I'm not per pure fact. So I've been on my case big time for years, and that is what makes me cry. I feel inadequate. But I have to let it go. Because the, the tears and pain are literally killing me. Literally killing me. It's better if I give to you. Be honest, be simple, and uh, humble, and... 
just share my knowledge and don't worry about my anarthos, my little habits. And um, just get on with it and get some produce going out, you know, get some product going out instead of crying all the time. Okay. So in Mercury Dasha, which is in my second, it's the first time I've been outside my trines. You see, I was born in Rahu, which is in the fifth. Then I did Jupiter and Saturn in the ninth. Those are both trines. Those are lucky houses. And then comes Mercury. He's in the second with the sun, who is the lord of the fifth. So I'm still with a trinal lord, but I'm in the dasha of a planet that rules third and sixth. Now those are not easy houses. Mm -mm. Third, amongst other things, is emotional discomfort, loss of home, a lot of little traveling around, a lot of little chores to do, difficult things to do to achieve something. Um, sixth is debts, diseases, enemies, service. It's, it's also hard work, but that scary one is disease, you know? Well, in terms of debt, I don't have any money. I spent all my money as I went along through life. Not on fun and joy and blah, 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 but on the business and my kids. I always reinvested in the business. And also I believed in the rule that I was taught that Brahmins don't save money. I just believed every rule they told me. Like they said, Brahmins don't climb trees. So I never climb trees. I don't want to anyway, anymore. As a kid I did, but you know, Brahmins don't take unsafe actions because they're too valuable. And they, so I just followed all these rules. They, they don't save money because they trust in God. I followed and now I'm broke. But lo and behold, I have a yoga, uh, what's it called? Amaranath means that money shows up at the last minute when it's needed. And that's true. Whenever I'm destitute, which happens often in Mercury Dasha, <laughs> at the last minute somebody saves me. And they do so almost invariably always because, let me just say I'm this beautiful religious character. Well, I have Venus in the first, which is beauty, and both those planets in the ninth aspect both things in the first. Saturn trines Venus perfectly, and Jupiter trines my ascendant perfectly. So then the luck of the ninth house and the long distance of the ninth house comes upon the Lagna and that Amaranath yoga is Amaranath Dana yoga is kicked in and at the last minute the Dana money comes enough to save me. Now mm, Many doctors, Satabhishaka, my moon star, means 1,000 physicians. Satabhishaka. And that means they can't diagnose him or fix him. These are sickly people that are difficult to figure out. Well, this facial thing that I got, I've scarred myself on both sides of my neck trying to get rid of it, digging, getting this stuff out. It's still coming, but I'm getting a handle on it more and more. But I've been to like five doctors for it, and none of them can fix it. <laughs> they say different things. They give me medicines. But it doesn't follow the pattern of any one disease they mention. And what I say to them, they, they don't listen to. And I've done tons of research on it. I'm the one feeling it, you know. So my Satabhishaka is working, and my disease lord is working in the right house. Do you think I've had to have major teeth repair in this dasha? What do you think? Second rules the mouth. Mercury's the disease lord. Yeah. A lot of those white teeth you see, 
or yellow. <laughs> a lot of those teeth you see are fake. They're not totally fake. They have white fillings on the sides to, to hide all the abrasion and stuff. Car. So the point is in, in my dashes, my life follows my dashes. In Saturn and Jupiter, things were going so well, so easy. In Jupiter, it was so easy how I rose in religion. It was incredible. Rose, rose, rose to the top of Hare Krishna movement. And in Oakland, even as a kid, in early Jupiter Dasha, I was always often employed at the diocese office where my mom was friends with the bishop of Oakland. You know, My family had something to do with starting that because we started the first church in Berkeley. Um, and then Mercury Dasha things got tough because he's the lord of tough third and harder still sixth <laughs> but he's with the sun fifth lord very close so that means that everything fifth which is includes loss of disease getting rid of disease everything about the fifth house is close to my Mercury sixth lord so as he tries to do his bad stuff, the fifth Lord is right there burning him because Mercury is combust. So this points to various things like I am UV sensitive, which means I can't be in the sun much. These sores come out much more in the sun and so does sunburn and I can't see very well and I, I just don't do well in the sun. Okay? I am a pure white, black-haired Caucasian. We are from the fog. We're not from the sun. So that's why I like sitting out here in the cold. Nobody else would. It's really cold out here, but not to me. It's like 7 a.m. or something in March in Oregon, and that's like chilly, you know? It's probably 50 or something degrees. I don't know Celsius. Take your metric system back to Germany, okay? No, I, I, I only know British inches, Fahrenheit. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm so American. And we are cut loose. <laughs> Here, they, they did the dick thing to all boys, you know. The Jewish thing, you know, they did it to all the Catholic boys and maybe the Protestants too, I think. I think in America, everybody is cut and in England and Europe, they're not, you know. So anyway, I'm an American. American. <laughs> not. I am Desi. Don't you forget it. I am from east, west, north, south of India. But it Desi, I am. Huh. Deek. Sub. Hog. Acha. So, I'm in Mercury Dasya, yeah, and, uh, help! No. <laughs> it's doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> um, what else can I talk to you about today on Easter Sunday? He has risen. Why was that such a big deal? He has risen. You know, think about it. Why was it such a big deal to people back then? Jesus has risen from the dead. And they form a whole new religion around it. Right? Why? Because up until that time, people were mostly pagan of various types. And they believed that they didn't go away from this world ever. That there was never relief, never heaven. That, that only they kept reincarnating here. That's what the Celts thought. They would go from human to animal to human to animal forever. And thus, it becomes like a trip to gain power over everybody else. Thus, that trip about beheading people and gaining their power from the Highlander, that was only true up until, like, Rome. That was true until 2,000 years ago. Nobody's thought that since then. But Hollywood did. <laughs> Okay, so um, anyway, I just want to make a quick video to say hi to you on Easter, and this is it. And maybe I'll make another one later because nowadays I feel better suddenly. Yay, Sonia, with the ideas. You know, it just took 
a little permission from my friends to climb down off that tall wooden cross. I thought I had to be more for y'all than I am. But I'm not. I am what I am. I'm human. I'm spiritual. I'm religious. But I'm not perfect. Thank you. Bye.